Which resize algorithm to choose for videos? However, I record my stuff in 1920 by 1080 and resize it down to 1280 by 720. Now the question, which algorithm should I choose when making a balance quality versus file size decision? I always went with Lanchosh because that's what was pre-configured. Those descriptions don't really help me at all in my question. TL, Drive. When sampling down, use Lanchosh or Spline filtering. When sampling up, use Bicubic or Lanchosh filtering. These are based on material I've read over the years, and from what I've seen used in the industry. The recommendations may vary depending on content type and application area. Why does it matter? It could be argued that the resizing filters don't matter that much when you downscale a video. More importantly, they have an impact on the quality when upscaling, because you need to generate data where there isn't in the first place. These filters all have only a marginal impact on file size. You therefore shouldn't worry about huge differences there. Fact is, as always when encoding video, that the result heavily depends on the source material. You can't always predict the result, but just see what works best for you. Different algorithms. As an example, here's by cubic versus by linear interpolation. See that by cubic interpolation results in smoother edges? That's a very general statement, but you can find an overview of image scaling algorithms here. By linear interpolation uses a 2x2 two two environment of a pixel and then takes the average of these pixels to interpolate the new value. It's not the best algorithm, but rather fast. By cubic interpolation uses a 4x4 four four environment of a pixel, weighing the innermost pixels higher, and then takes the average to interpolate the new value. It's, as far as I'm concerned, the most popular. Area averaging uses a mapping of source and destination pixels, averaging the source pixels with regards to the fraction of destination pixels that are covered. According to this page, it should produce better results when downsampling. Spline and sync interpolation use higher order polynomials and are therefore harder to compute than by cubic interpolation. I don't think the overall increase in processing time is worth using them. Launchish resampling involves a sync filter as well. It is more computationally expensive but usually described as very high quality and can be used for up and down sampling. HQX as well as two XI filters are used for pixel art scaling. For example game emulators. I don't think there's a good reason for using them in video. Jeff Atwood's Comparison It turns out Jeff Atwood did a comparison of image interpolation algorithms. His rule of thumb was to use bicubic interpolation for downsampling and bilinear interpolation when upsampling. That said, this is not what is typically recommended for video encoding and some commenters have raised doubts about Outwood's expertise in the field. However, he also mentioned that. Reducing images is a completely safe and rational operation. You're simply reducing precision and resolution by discarding information. Make the image as small as you want, and you have complete fidelity within the bounds of the number of pixels you've allowed. You'll get good results no matter which algorithm you pick. Well, unless you pick the nave pixel resize or nearest neighbor algorithms. Other examples. Here are some more examples of image interpolation algorithms, including the ones I mentioned above. I also found documents, scene rules, 
from the video encoding scene that explicitly banned by Cubic filtering for downsampling. Instead, they endorse Lanchosh, Spline, or Blackman resampling. I found a good image that documents some of this. Full size version here. In general you want a mild sharpening effect when making a larger image into a smaller one, and a mild blurring effect when making a smaller image into a larger one. The Mapper filter set defaults to Lanchos for upscaling and Bicubic for downscaling. You are converting 3 by 3 original pixels to 2 by 2 target pixels. If you want to keep sharp lines choose Lanchosh or something that uses more surrounding pixels to not blur sharp lines, like fur or reflections. Otherwise area average etc, also by linear slash trilinear, would suffice.